this is our steampunk experimenter's rocket mass heater of science in my office. A poorly insulated former garage. It has worked quite well for three winters. And we have conducted a lot of experiments on it. But before we talk about all that, let's look at the birth of this. Let's see. And that's what this is. This one is going to have two vents. It's going to have one going through the wall and one going through the roof with a, a way of being able to you know, say, oh, today I wish to have the roof. And today I wish to have the vent out the wall. Yes, we could have used Makita or DeWalt, but in this case we're using uh, Revlon. <laughs> We have two pieces and overall 27 inches. So our ductwork is going to slide inside. Inside, yeah, I think so. So if this is the roof. Oh, this is going to be good on this one. We're about a 412 pitch. So that's how we're going to be sitting. On each of these. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. Plenty to screw into. Alright. I'm doing left cut shears with the right hand. This is possible. That is absolute of where we want to be. This should give us a good two inches. So ideally I want it like that. That's gonna be good. Okie dokie. That is going to intimidate the raindrops. Thank you. That's perfect. That's actually a good thing. It's a loose fit. Good job. And plug yourself. I'll plug myself. Now, that looks. Pretty okay.
some paper in there to heat up the heat riser and chimney uh, then we dump some kindling on it that I've split up the old-fashioned way and we pick on Paul <laughs> And just for the rest of it in there. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time.